Доброго дня, шановні колеги. Good afternoon, dear friends. Today in the Ukrainian Crisis Media Center, we continue our project Diplomacy Without Borders, and we have via Skype um, Yevhen Perebenis, uh, um, uh, Ambassador of Ukraine to Latvia. Thank you, Yevhen Petrovich. Thank you for, for your time. Time. Thank you for your participation in our project. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm I'm uh, very grateful to the Ukrainian Crisis Media Center for this opportunity to address to uh, my co uh, counterparts and uh, to. Um, uh, 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 to explain what we are doing here, I think this is a very useful project. Uh, would you please uh, uh, describe the current work of your embassy in uh, Latvia and uh, what uh, projects uh, you try to implement and what you try to achieve? Uh, mm, I would uh, divide our work. Uh, between uh, uh, several pillars, so to say, we work uh, in political, cultural, uh, and economic dimensions. Uh, uh, when we uh, take, for example, cultural re relations uh, between Ukraine and La Russia, they are quite proactive now. We have a lot of uh, 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 visits, we exchange with uh, delegations. Uh, next uh, week, uh, we expect to have uh, several such exchange visits uh, from Ukraine to Latvia and vice versa. Political uh, support of Latvia to Ukraine is very high at all the levels uh, at uh, Mm, and on a bilateral level, on multiple uh, side late levels, uh, uh, Latvia is very proactive in the EU in NATO. And despite the not big size of this country, nevertheless, uh, they speak with a strong voice supporting Ukraine. Mm, uh, for example, in the issue uh, of uh, providing Ukraine with a with free regime. All uh, Latvian politicians at the governmental and parliamentary level support a visa free regime for Ukraine and keep saying that uh, there is uh, um, groundless delays uh, in, in uh, delivery of visa free regime to Ukraine. Also, uh, position of Latvia in terms of association agreement is firm. They believe that the um, association agreement should be ratified as quickly as possible. They also support Ukraine in extension of uh, uh, sanctions regime. I think Latvia is one of our closest partners in the EU, not because maybe of our uh, historical ties, not because of our close partnership now, but also uh, due to the fact that this very country um, uh, belonging to West to Europe uh, uh, survived through similar um, negative events. Uh, they survived through occupation. They survived uh, through pressure from the eastern uh, neighbors. And uh, they support us not at the level of government and parliament, but also at the level of ordinary people. As for our economic relations, uh, on December 12 and 13, uh, in Kiev, uh, we will have uh, the Economic Commission session uh, in Kiev. This will be joined uh, Economic Commission between Ukraine and Latvia, which will discuss uh, issues of trade. During last years, the Ukrainian export to Latvia slowed down, but uh, hopefully we will find the ways how to revive it. Mm. 
and the last uh, thing which I w would like to mention is uh, Latvian uh, assistance uh, in rehabilitation of uh, Ukrainian servicemen and uh, in organizing leisure for children of uh, um, vulnerable groups. Uh, for example, in October, children, talented children from Ukraine, from Donbass, uh, had an opportunity to perform a concert uh, here in Riga. Also, um, several days ago, uh, Latvia was visited by um, uh, participants of the Vic Victorians project, Victoros project, uh, uh, organized jointly by Viva magazine and uh, uh, One Plus One TV channel. Uh, more than 178 servicemen uh, received rehabilitation here in Latvia. Uh, this, uh, this was microsurgery of limbs. Uh, these days, there was one more successful surgery um, to one of our servicemen, which appeared to be successful. And uh, the servicemen were treated on the account account of uh, Latvian budget. The Latvia has a special state program uh, which uh, uh, allocated money for treatment and rehabilitation of Ukrainian soldiers. And also we have uh, um, uh, funds from uh, Ukraine state uh, of, uh, budget. Also, um, children from vulnerable groups, so from those soldiers who perished in, in Edo area, also uh, children uh, of wounded soldiers in Edo. They spent two weeks in Yurmala at the seaside. They were very happy because of the atmosphere, because of hospitality. They got two weeks of new impressions, uh, presents from friends. I think that uh, such uh, events are very important. Humanitarian aid uh, is rather strong, despite the fact that Latvia is a small country. More than 1 million euros were allocated of Latvia for the, this humanitarian assistance. Uh, this uh, way, um, uh, medical equipment, medical supplies, uh, uh, which were provided to the ATO area. I uh, probably have omitted some important projects. You may ask questions. And I hope uh, I need to stay now to allow another question. You mentioned uh, the uh, project uh, uh, the Victorious, uh, mm, which was held in the uh, History Museum in Riga. Um, what was the response from local residents in Latvia? This was uh, um, mm, uh, w very um, uh, uh, mm, uh, e uh, complicated, comprehensive response. Uh, uh, many uh, people were shocked with the fact uh, that there is a real war in Ukraine. Latvia, uh, situation in Latvia, in media space in Latvia, is in society in Latvia is rather complicated. They have uh, a big uh, Russian-speaking population which watch uh, Russian TV and uh, get uh, Russian information about uh, events in Ukraine. And those people were the most shocked to see uh, the war in Ukraine. And uh, people felt uh, strong emotions uh, um, meeting with those uh, uh, soldiers uh, uh, 
by the way, Ukrainian, uh, uh, the uh, World Congress of Ukrainians uh, uh, presented uh, um, three soldiers who participated in that the Victorious Project uh, um, uh, vouchers for ten two week rest in Yurmala. I think that those servicemen. Um, did a big, uh, did a great uh, job uh, doing this um, presentation. Uh, uh, also, you mentioned the ordinary people in Latvia who tried to to help Ukraine. Uh, um, uh, how do you think to w what? Uh, extend that Latvia is under Russian influence or influence of Russian propaganda and what is the attitude of the Latvians to Ukrainian servicemen. I already mentioned that in Latvia there were several projects on the framework of which they um, collected money for assistance to Ukraine and this fundraising was was rather successful. Uh, for example, last year uh, there was a concert in Zintari in a very famous concert hall in Yurmala. The um, project was under the auspice of uh, uh, Latvian Parliament and buying tickets to this uh, project, people knew that they were contributing to Ukrainian assistance. Uh, um, uh, 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 the project was called uh, the Children of War. Um, and uh, money were f uh, raised to uh, allow Ukrainian uh, children, uh, children from ATO area, to have a vacation in Yurmala. Um, actually, we feel the support of ordinary people every day. Uh, the Latvians uh, uh, organize the pickets and demonstrations in front of Russian embassy quite often and also I would like to mention volunteer organizations, uh, civic activists who um, uh, prepare clothes, equipment, uh, 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 different stuff and uh, bring all these uh, things. Uh, they have their own uh, small bus and bring these uh, uh, things uh, to specific military units at the front line, like night uh, vision devices, uh, uh, medical equipment, etc. You mentioned that in Latvia there is a problem of Russian propaganda. In such a small, uh, such a small country as Latvia, uh, should experience uh, difficulties in opposing Russian propaganda. Uh, so, what uh, what the government uh, is doing to this end? Unlike Ukraine, Latvia cannot uh, impose a ban on Russian speaking uh, on Russian TV channels because uh, uh, Latvia is uh, part of the European Union and has to comply with its rules. If uh, some TV channels uh, violate uh, the rules, uh, you uh, you can suspend broadcasting of the TV channel, but you cannot uh, impose uh, 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 ban and uh, uh, Latvian regulator very carefully follows uh, the um, coverage in uh, TV uh, on TV channels and then suspends the broadcasting. For example, uh, six months ago, um, the regulator imposed ban on the Rush Russia TV channel, but generally. In Latvia, the main emphasis is uh, uh, put not on uh, a 
prohibition of uh, 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 TV, Russian TV channels, but uh, uh, they try to apply different approach to provide Russian speaking alternatives uh, to Russian channels. Uh, uh, These attempts uh, uh, have not become totally successful yet, but uh, in general, it is improving. The most successful this project might become if uh, the EU and uh, Baltic countries uh, unite uh, together and create a special rush, uh, special TV channel uh, with broadcasting for Russian-speaking population. Um, what is Latvian response to the radicalism of Russian uh, aggression? I, I cannot say that uh, the radicalism inside uh, uh, Latvia became stronger. I, I cannot say this because Rus even Russian-speaking Latvians, they make full use of the membership in the EU. Of course, uh, they have some nostalgia. They have uh, uh, some pro-Russian ideas, especially in the East. But uh, the biggest concern for Russia, uh, for excuse me, the biggest concern for Latvia today is the growing militarism uh, in Russia. The um, uh, big number of military exercises uh, uh, close to its borders and uh, the demonstrative movements of tanks and uh, aircrafts, uh, military aircrafts in vicinity of its borders. That's why now Latvian uh, government pays much attention to strengthening its uh, defense capacity. Recently, uh, at Warsaw Summit, the decision was made to strengthen NATO, count, uh, NATO uh, um, uh, contingents uh, in uh, all Baltic countries. Thus, next year, Canadian uh, troops uh, will be deployed in Canada. Of course, the uh, NATO, presence of NATO troops uh, won't resolve the problem, but uh, um, the presence itself could uh, uh, restrain uh, Russian aspirations. Mm. You mentioned uh, movements of ships and uh, planes. In line with the um, Article fifth of uh, uh, Aliens Treaty, any uh, attempt uh, to uh, uh, conquer any of the members of the aliens means the uh, attack on the entire aliens and uh, each country in this case can use its right to individual and collective defense. Uh, whether uh, Latvians believe that this treaty will be fully applied and implemented in case of a real threat from Russia. Mm. Uh, I, uh, I cannot say uh, definitely whether people uh, uh, believe this will happen or not, but uh, uh, Article 5 is in the center of attention and it is seen as the uh, fundamental principle um, of NATO and uh, they believe that it will be fully applied and as of today uh, we had no grounds to put this uh, to have doubts as to application of this article. The visit of Vice President Biden this summer 
confirmed uh, uh, readiness of the United States uh, um, to uh, um, apply this article in uh, case of the threat in case of any threat to the national security would apply this article fully dear colleagues whether you have any questions good afternoon Serhi Malerchuk UCMC you Petrovich, tell us, please, uh, the change of political establishment uh, when you became the ambassador at the times, what changes happened in political establishment of the country? So I uh, became the ambassador in May. 2015, so it is one and a half years ago, and uh, that was several days before uh, Riga Summit of in Eastern Partnership, and uh, I was the, uh, the last who um, uh, was uh, who took office and became ambassador. Then the new president was elected, Ramos Ioannis, and. Uh, I would say that the only change of political establishment uh, from that time is uh, the uh, new president came to power and uh, uh, there were no other elections. For example, the government changed, but not in the result of elections, parliamentary elections, but in the result of the coalition crisis that happened about a year ago. Coalition didn't change. It remained the same. But prime minister was replaced and also uh, several members of the cabinet of ministers. And uh, uh, there were no major changes in uh, uh, the political establishment. Thank you. And one more question. Do you feel changes in the attitude of Latvian people towards Russian aggression in Ukraine? What are their views? And also about last uh, latest mil military training, NATO training in Latvia. What is the attitude of young people in relation to military service? Do they understand that this threat is real, not fake? Thank you. Thank you. I believe I don't feel any major changes in the attitude of society. I believe that uh, uh, society of Latvia, they uh, support Ukraine in its fight against Russia. And uh, we we do not have 100% support. There are different attitudes. Of course, there are pro-Russian views. And uh, a lot of people here, they believe that Ukraine is to blame for the problems because they think in the framework of Russian propaganda. And we should convince these people. And uh, of course, there are such people among Ukrainians who live in Latvia. Among them, there are many who uh, have nostalgia about Soviet Union, and we should work with these people. But on the whole, if we are speaking about Latvian society, I believe that they support Ukraine. As to young people and uh, defense, in Latvia there is no obligatory uh, military conscription. Uh, Army comprises about 5,000 people, and uh, here is National Guard. It is a volunteer guard, about 10,000. These are servicemen who work, who study, but at the same time, once a week or several times a week, they attend training. And uh, 
These are not amateurs. They are professionals. They are at the level of professional army. In case of threat, they can, in several hours, they can defend their state. They know where to go and what to do. They can handle weapons, and uh, this is a very important element. And a lot of young people take part in this national guard that is called the Mersadza here. And uh, this is an organization that uh, educate people on patriot uh, patriotism and. Uh, uh, they increase their um, capability to defend the state. Do you have other questions? No questions. Thank you very much, Evgeny Petrovich, for being with us. We will follow your wonderful projects that are carried out by the embassy, and we wish success in your Project. So this is the end of uh, our briefing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for this invitation, and I hope till the next time. Goodbye.